just to, I guess I'll, I'll just uh, to start with. We have the match day between uh, international master international master Levy Rosman and grandmaster former women's world champion Alexandra Kosniuk. For those of you guys who are not familiar with her, she what what year was it again? Sorry, I didn't do my research. It's two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Two thousand ten. Okay. Yeah, a okay. while ago. So she was the the uh, the women's world champion from two thousand eight to two thousand and ten. So H Alexandra, how are you feeling about this match? I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling great and uh, looking forward to it. So yeah, saying hi to everyone. And Levy, do you, are you feeling good about this match, or how how are you how are you doing? I'm I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling like Dustin Poirier feels fighting Conor McGregor. So <laughs> okay. happy to be here, and you know, looking to uh, you know mm -hmm. just uh, have good some reference. fun, play play good chess, and uh, yeah. Awesome. I think we're already off to a, to a flying start here. So all right. But, uh, so, <laughs> so should we get going then? I, 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 that's why I took my headphones off the first time. Okay. All right. So if I take my headphones off, we're good this time. I can send. Okay, the we're good to start. Right. Okay. So good um, luck to both. Good luck. Right, good luck. Have a have fun with the commentary, guys. All right. Thank you. Just subscribed. And off they go. Hikaru, what's our prediction for this match? I didn't want to. Uh, um, I mean, I, I think probably. I think I'll, it's a really question of how close it is in the three plus one. If if Levy can keep it relatively close, I think he has he has a very good chance. Um, uh, have they started or not? They haven't, right? I think not yet. Okay. Yeah, most of um, But yeah, I think it, it depends how close Levy can keep it. I think he's probably a big favorite in the bullet. Okay, let me start the timer. Um, I'll add a timer to, to my screen. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think it depends if Levy can keep it close in the um, in the uh, in, in the in the blitz portion. If he cannot do that, then I think uh, Alexandra is a big favorite if, because she's going to win the bullet. She's a, a better player, I would say, on average, um, in the blitz for sure. And so Levy just has to keep it as close as he can. Uh, what do you think of his opening choice in this very first game, going for Bishop G five at H four? Um, I'm not amused. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I'm not amused. He he was playing this. He was playing this H four nonsense against against uh, National Master James Canty in the um in the I am not a GM event. He he lost quite a few games. Got a few very bad positions. So I don't really like the choice from Levy. Why do you think he he's so um relying on this? If he got so many bad positions in that match, as you said, do you think he has some improvement? Hopefully, he has looked at this line since, and there's gonna be some improvement. Um, I think mainly it's about uh, Levy just just wanting to sort of not go into to mainline openings, avoid preparation, as opposed to having a specific uh, amount of theory or, or ideas prep. So, um, that being said, however, she is not playing the way that James Canty did. Canty was playing c5 on move three, whereas. Uh, Kostinuk played d5 on move three and is trying to develop the bishop and develop the knight. So a little mm -hmm. bit different. H5. Whoa, that is um, that is a very bold move. I am kind of shocked by that move actually. That I don't understand that move at all because if White were to go h5, there's always g5. So very bold yeah. move. Very very different. From Alexander's play, I feel like she did not expect this line. Maybe she thought that it was only for that one match and she thought that Levy was going to play something more traditional in today's match because I think she is somewhat surprised that this is on the board and she reacted in a surprised way. She's somewhat confused. Via yeah, definitely. Also, you guys, they're playing three, 3 plus 1. Levy's just warming up. And Levy just allowed E5, however, and now... In one move, it went from, I think, better for white to being much worse, potentially, because now you have to be careful that there aren't forces like pawn to e4. Um, knight takes knight in e4 and bishop b2. Uh-oh. E4. E4. Bishop b2. Uh, 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 e4. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, as confused as Alexandra was, now she is in the driver's seat um, after e4, as you mentioned, the b2 pawn is falling. So this was a surprising turn of events. Levy mm -hmm. had a good position out of the opening, but he couldn't uh, use the momentum. Right. This is really bad for white. He goes rook d1, so he wants to play knight e4. Again, I feel like black can maybe just go queen e7 or queen f6, just castle queen side, very slow, mm -hmm. very quiet. And um, I think I think... It's looking very bad. There's also bishop g4, by the way. Don't don't forget about bishop g4 because the pawn supports Oof. the bishop as well. Yes, this is um, not looking good. And at the same time, the evaluation bar started showing some 
Yeah, the I think there's some, there some, there some so... idea with pawn to c4 because you create a fossil with knight e4 and you mm -hmm. hit the bishop on b2. You put pressure on the center and the king on e8 is a little bit loose. But anyway, levy castles, um, not the best move. And now I think after black castles to kingside or or queenside, potentially black should be much better. She castles kingside, as you predicted, uh, and she's got the semi-open f5 for her heavy pieces. Not the most traditional setup in front of the king. At the same time, it's all fixed, so uh, Levy cannot really get to the black king. He is pushing mm -hmm. c4, which is logical, right? Um, to open up the diagonal. But the a3 pawn is also hanging. What would be the best reaction here? I, I'm inclined to think something with bishop g4. Maybe knight e5, cd5, bishop g4, actually. I, I, something like knight e5, cd5, bishop g4 looks best to me. Because the problem is if you take a3, um, if, if you were if you were to take a3, white can take d5, and then your e4 pawn is also going to collapse. Fall, so your mm -hmm. whole center is kind of collapsing. Okay, a6, so bishop a4. Bishop a4. Mm -hmm. Again, um, I like knight e5 and bishop g4. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that seems to be the type of move Alexander will definitely go for. She goes b5 first. Oh, she mm -hmm. wants c takes b5, then knight e5? I guess, but isn't there some uh, knight e5, uh, knight takes e4? Oh, Levy! Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? Um... Yes, that was not correct. Um, I mean, you know what this reminds me of is there's the, in the French Winter War, there's a line where white goes a3, black goes bishop a5, b4, and yeah. you all you capture c takes d4, you capture towards the center, not away yeah. from the center. Um, exactly. Because now black center is very secure, the pawns are, are, are protected. What you want to do is capture towards the center on d5 and then take e4. Because even though you mm -hmm. get your pawn back, black can go c6 here, consolidate the chain of three, and uh, black is much better. So this um this looks quite bad for white, quite bad. Yeah, it's it's just such a strange game to start with Wait, from the opening. It, after c6 was her knight takes e4 because of the pin? Maybe? Oh. I don't know. At any rate, Levy is uh doing very poorly here. This is not a good position. Again, the connect three, right, Anna? Like it, the pawns are very, very solid in the center now. Yeah, this is just looking like a beautiful position for Alexander, and she also has more time. So time mm -hmm. pressure on Levy. The position is looking. And just she's gonna line bad, up the battery bad. too. Oh yeah, that's a very strong idea. F4 to stop uh, Black from playing Queen E5, but now Bishop B6 is very Bishop nice. Mm -hmm. Bishop G4, Knight F5, and it's Levy's gonna Bishop G4, Knight F5, is very strong here. Yep. And Alexander sees it. She's a very strong mm -hmm. attacking player. I think she's enjoying this position a lot. Everything is falling <laughs> apart. It's e3. Knight takes e4. Um, yeah. I mean, I just think... a desperate piece sacrifices their point to this. I mean, I think queen g7, queen b2. Just, I think you just don't want to give white the check on the diagonal. Although even queen yeah. e7 probably is winning. But I just feel like queen e7 allows some queen c3. It okay, takes. Yeah, and bishop e3. Actually, no, this is actually more than enough. This is pretty clean, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, knight f3, knight d4, create the fork. So there's only a pawn for the piece. Uh, it, it is a pass pawn, but I, I don't think that Levy will have enough compensation. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is winning here for black. I mean, rook b8 is one yeah. option. Very nice. I like this move a lot indeed. Now the bishop is in trouble again. Rook b2. King h1, bishop f3. Bishop f3 uh, and g3. The curtains. And you get the Arabian mate on h2. Okay, so Alexander's up one nothing. Very, very bad start for Levy. Um, yeah, and those of you asking about the score, it's next to their names. You see that uh, Levy's got zero, and Alexander now has one point mm -hmm. next to her name, so that's how you can see how they are doing in the match. Um, knight f3, f5, uh, Levy's going for. Um, any thoughts on the opening choice again, Hikaru? Did you expect this? Uh, so, uh, the Dutch, I'm not surprised by. I'm not shocked by this. Um, one second. Sorry, I'm trying to... I'll, I'll just add scores in their boxes. Oh, you have a scoreboard. I, uh, I don't have one. No, no, I don't have a scoreboard. I'm just... I'm putting numbers in their box. Um, I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> that makes sense. Maybe I can write that too on the... On, on their camera. Somewhere in the corner. Yeah. Haven't thought of that. Yeah, no, no, it's it's. It, I just I, I just thought it might make it a little bit easier. Yeah, not? you're right. Yeah. 
Yes, and, and until Levy gets on the scoreboard. There we go. All right. Um, okay. So, yeah. All right. So, we have the um, – we have the uh, – this is a Leningrad Dutch here. Um, let's 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 see <laughs> what what's gonna happen. Maybe maybe, maybe Rook B one and B four by Alexander would make sense. Knight B five, pretty good move. Um, mm -hmm. Puts pressure on the pawn on C seven here. I just hope that we will need to update Larry's score as well. I feel like for now um, the start is not looking good, but of course this is a long match. Correct. Yeah. Um. Okay, so maybe maybe it should be three. <laughs> For Levy, uh, if, if he knew that he had to just... No, uh, and that, that first I'll, game I'll was rough. It, I'll change it, yeah. <laughs> that, that was rough. Someone said put his face inside. I, I, well, this is all in good fun, you guys, so... This is all in good fun. <laughs> it's all in good fun. We'll, we'll fix it afterwards. Um, it's all in good fun. There's nothing personal, no bad feelings. But anyway, um, okay, so maybe AB3. I don't actually like what Kostinuk has done here because mm -hmm. now um, now you ruin your queenside pawn structure here. I don't really like this. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe I think it's. I think this is actually probably quite good for Levy here. Maybe knight a4 here and some e5 or c5 at the right moment because white's can't – Generally speaking, you, when you play these a3 ideas and there's knight on c5, is to go b4. So when black gets a4 and you don't actually get like the connected pawns, um, it it doesn't look like uh, I don't know. It doesn't look. I don't know. I'm not not a fan of this uh, position for for white. I think Levy's got a good position here. I feel like that too. I feel like this is the best position so far that he has had. If we don't count the evaluation can, wait, by jumping the saying, previous you guys one. Are saying, one second. Someone in my chat says, "How yeah. can how can how can you hear us and?" In uh in um in Alexander stream, the thing is Alexander took her headphones off. I think so. Yes, um, she, she changed, changed something. I think, the microphone. Yeah, yeah she, she changed input, something. So that so you guys can hear us, but she cannot. Yeah. Um, right. It would be very confusing for her to to hear us. I don't think that helps at all. Uh, so of course she changed right. it. I was looking at knight e4 for Levy because I think even if you. Even if you, uh -huh. yeah, and he's going for move. it. I like that move a lot because that fianchetto bishop is so important. You shouldn't really take on e4 as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, C6 is... Okay, I see. I think Levy's doing great. Bishop C8 and E5 here. He's going to get his big center with the six pawns. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of, the, they build, like, what is that? What is that structure? Because it's, it's all connected. Like, one, you have two connected pawn chains next to each other. Like... Two connected pawn chains, you mean... If you get H7, the... G6, F5, and C7, D6, E5. Trapezium? I don't think that's what you call it. Oh. Anyway, we're not going to get it because Alexander <laughs> takes on E4... Um, Unfortunately, we're not gonna get it, but that's that's good news for Levy. Now the light squares are very weak around the king of Alexandra. Yeah, I think Levy's doing great here. Bishop h3 is coming. Bishop f5, maybe even just e5. Um, White's piece are a little bit offside on the on the queen side, so I think it's uh, it's pretty um, it's pretty good for Levy. It's, it's very very good for Levy. Uh I just would like to thank Chesbay for the million gifted subs. And thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs, Chesbay, for your kind words about the commentary that we are doing here on this wonderful match between Gotham Chess and Chess Queen. I really think that um, Levy is the underdog in the match, but in this game, I feel like mm -hmm. this is a really good chance for him to score. Yeah, he's crushing it this game. E5 is a great move. Um, Knight has to go... Ah, okay. But can't she... D5 maybe? Because I guess her idea is King H8. She wants Knight E6 and Queen takes E6. Again, even that is probably good, but I think d5 is actually very strong, and he finds it yeah. very good. And now after very king h8, point. bishop e6, mm -hmm. black should be black should be much better if not just winning. I I, I agree fully with you that this d5 was so important to keep the bishop on the board, the light squared mm -hmm. bishop. And now after bishop e6, everything is just so strong in the center that that pawn structure that Levy has and the pair of bishops. Right. Like king h8 here, maybe get the king out of the way. Maybe queen f6, or maybe rook f7 is a good move to consolidate and then move the queen. But king h8 is also a very, very good move. I like that there are now new copy pastas to help Levy. Mm -hmm. uh, pause this Chevy to help Levy. Yeah. Yeah, this is really, really bad. d4 is coming, queen d5 is coming. I mean, this is just losing, I think. Yeah, d4 looks crushing. Yeah, and bishop he even d5, has more bishop time. Bishop c4. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, Levy's in very good shape. Bishop d5 and bishop c4 yeah. both look very, very good. Bishop g4 also. 
Um, Bishop H3, like everything should be winning. Even a move like Rook A6 and Rook takes C6 also looks very good. True, very true. And as for Alexandra, it's so difficult to. Ooh, that knight on B5, Queen B8, mm -hmm. pointing out that the knight was trapped, yeah. and now it's Alexandra well, who has to give up the piece. Mm -hmm. Bishop H3, I assume, is very good. Okay. That, it's so that, similar that how these two games went uh, for Black. Both of them taking the initiative with the Black pieces, and then uh, again, this now it's a mm -hmm. piece up for Levy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Levy's just winning. Knight e5, knight c4. Mm -hmm. He should he should win this game. Like rook a3 is a move, maybe knight e5 is a move. Um 17 seconds left though. He has to hurry up. Um like coming back to b5. He has to be somewhat careful about the king though, because of this diagonal. Yeah, he's actually uh Levy, come on. Oh my oh my oh my gosh. Rook e7, Five come seconds. on, move. Levy, There's let's only go. One second increment move. Oh my god. <gasps> It's a blunder. Rook D7 was winning. What was Rook D4? Rook D7? What? Rook A4? Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, oh. oh, no. Oh, Larry has given back the piece because he had no time and panicked. Oh. This is a meltdown, unfortunately. Mm. Start is so good. well for Larry. That was not good. I think it was just the time management because he was doing so well until he went down to his final seconds and that's when he couldn't figure out the, the right moves any right. longer. So hopefully he'll he'll save some more time for the end of the game in this one. Yeah. No, that was really, really unfortunate. I mean Yeah, I'm gonna update the score, but I wish it was an update yeah. on Levy's oh. side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wrote 12 for Alexander instead of two. Um, yeah. <clears throat> sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, this is this is actually a very tough start for Levy. He plays the London system. This early night age five, I'm not so familiar with. Um, but yeah, Levy spent, he just, I mean, he spent too long, like, in that position. Like, he was just winning, and then he just panicked for no reason. He just spent, like, 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah so true that it looked like everything was good, but... Then the, when the position opened up and that long diagonal being vulnerable, I think it mm -hmm. got tricky and he didn't have enough time yeah. at that point already. Yeah, I think, I mean, G3... Levy's actually got a good position this game, by the way. C3, don't blunder the pawn on D4. Just C3 here. Yeah, hopefully he will not. This is what he teaches. <laughs> How yeah. to keep that pawn on the board for his PogChamp mm -hmm. students. Okay, he found it. <laughs> he found his own move. Yeah, Levy's, Levy is better here, I think, though. Like, Bishop G2 and Castles, or even Bishop D3 play New Age chess. I, I This is one thing, I don't know if I don't know how much you've noticed it with, like, computers, but very oftentimes when White creates, like, the, the square to Fionchetto, um, the computer says, don't do it, just says, put the bishop on another diagonal instead of Fionchettoing it, whereas, like, 50 yeah. years or 100 years ago, you would always put the bishop on G2. But here he's going to... Uh, maybe Levy wants to go queen... Uh, he wants to go queen side and play rookie That's one. That's why... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's doing, but uh, you are right that the engine yeah. has created this new setup where even though you fianca to the structure, you're not placing the bishop there. And so mm -hmm. he castles kingside. He's not uh, not worried about the long diagonal. Okay, now there must be something like knight g5 or f5 or bishop g6. There's got to be something here that's... that's This actually looks really good for Levy now. Yeah, he plays knight g5, and now there could be all sorts of threats. Mm -hmm. um, and the king of Alexander is still in the middle of the board, so this is dangerous. Can, I, I don't think bishop she can g6? just castle. Whoa, bishop takes g6 oh, wins. Bishop g6, whoa. fg6, knight e6, queen 6, d5. And if queen e5, knight c7. Just subscribed. Will he play it? Will he he's find it? Bishop takes he's, g6. He's got, he's got to take g6. Will he find it? Yes! Very Levy! Good. I know we shouldn't be rooting, but we are rooting for the good moves. Bishop takes g6 is beautiful. Well, I mean, we want we want Levy to get out of the, uh, get out of the toilet seat, basically. Yeah. I mean, okay, 96 here. Yeah. Well, put our... yeah. We need him to put himself on the scoreboard. <laughs> okay, um, I guess knight g7, 96 here. Um, yeah, I think knight e6 and knight g5 and Levy should win this game. Again, he's got a good position. He just he, he needs to not panic and, and think too long here. Like, this is a moment where, <laughs> speaking of time management, just knight e6. Instantly play knight e6. There's nothing to think about. Don't worry about the tax. You're up two pawns. Just knight e6. Don't waste 20 seconds here. Okay. And so he goes back. He did spend some time there, but at least now the knight is back. I've just I've just seen on your stream, Hikaru, mm -hmm. how nicely you have placed the scoreboard. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Levy is going to win this game. He just needs to stay very calm and not um not panic here and use too much time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, knight f3 is a move. f3 is also completely fine. Levy's up two pawns here, so f3 with the idea of queen e6 looks very good. Again, he's using too much time. He's like... Only 50 seconds left. Oh, come on, Levy. Come great. on. You got to move. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, this is actually what concerned me about this match is that, like, Alexandra, she's very fast. Like, she's a very tactical player, but she's also very, very fast as well. And I was yeah. worried about the time the time situation in this match, potentially, for Levy. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think Alexander will be the faster player, so... Mm -hmm. It is Levy who will need to be smarter with his time management. Such a good position for him, but again, he's down on time and he needs to somehow be more practical here. Yeah, but and bishop c8 is a great move by Alexander to put the bishop on f5. That's a really nice move. Really, really mm -hmm. nice move. I mean, obviously she's losing, but it's a really nice move to complicate it. And now Levy's yeah. thinking too long again. This is just... Uh... Down to 17 seconds. Oh, he's on, trying to find me. a win. That's why he's thinking so long, but there's Just no move, direct dude. way. dude. It's two pawns. Yeah. Okay, now I think he's going to win because now it's pretty obvious. You put the rook on e1, and you put the knight on e4, and then to g5 or trade on f6. Yeah, I'm glad to see that he has gone for the simplification because this mm -hmm. definitely makes his life uh, easier, right. and he can play those yep. moves and really like fast. B3 as yeah. well, I guess, 94. just so that he secures the structure now. Knight d4. Oh, come on. Oh, what is knight d1? Oh, it's going for knight c3, knight d5. I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously winning regardless, but, like, I just... Okay, good. Yeah, this is still a good plan. So, mm -hmm. um, very yeah. difficult for Alexander to do anything. Her position is really passive. There's no counterplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Levy's going to win this game. He's He's doing really, really well here. Yeah. I don't even see a trap for black. There's there's not much that Levy can blunder here. And after knight d5, the position is completely dominated by white's pieces. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think I think here it's hard because like it's such an obvious idea with knight d5 that even though Levy only has 14 seconds, I don't really see a good way for Alexander to keep the game going here. It's just it's, it should just be winning. Uh, if he if he had more time, okay, ninety five should just be winning ninety five. Levy, what, what's it? Uh, okay, queen g six, I guess. Yeah. The bars is made in seven. Yeah, queen h six and rook g six. Queen h six, rook g yeah. six. Yeah. Rook Game G6. over. Rook g six. Good. There we go. And he gets off. He gets off the of the zero. The first point for Levy, 2-1 this match, and the game's gone. I'm just going to update the score, too. Um, but much, much needed win for Levy to feel better about the, the match, because the previous game he did well, but he spoiled it, and now it's 2-1. Adoption avoided? Yes, you guys are right. Yeah. Adoption <laughs> avoided. <laughs> All right, he's playing the French defense, and this... Um, I don't call it the most ambitious the line from Black, but it's solid. Four dollars yeah. and twenty cents. Um, Levy's listening to your stream, Keck. <laughs> yeah, so this is the French. This is a very old line. This um, this knight f six, bishop g five, bishop b seven, taking with the pawn. He was doing this against Canty, I felt like in um in their match, and it's playable. But I actually think it's a bad opening choice against uh, against Alexander because again, white white tries to attack in the center and play for initiative, like knight f three, knight e five, or bishop c four. Or bishop e2 f3, I guess, is the other way to do it. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't love the choice because I think it it's very much fits in. Um, to, it fits her style better than it fits his. I agree. I agree that Alexandra's style is, is just perfect for these type of positions. Um, b5, interesting. Is that still theory? I, I feel like... I'm not sure. I it's mean... It's not exactly the main line for... Um, well, the thing is, I think Black is to decide do you go b5 or b6, because b6, bishop, b7, queen, c7, castles long is one pretty thematic idea. b5 is a little bit different. Um, now, it's worth noting king b1 was important, not bishop f3 right away, because then there was bishop g5 to win the queen. Uh, so okay. she did see that before putting the bishop on the long diagonal. 
So I, I wonder if this can work out for for Levy because now after B5, um, his king is still in the middle of the board and castling queenside is not as safe as it used to be. Although I guess he still needs to castle um, to that probably flank. at some point. I don't B4. However, I really don't like because now I think Levy's committing to where he's where he's going to attack on the queen side. Yeah. Castling the king here does not look right to me. I'll, I mean, maybe it's still a move, but after playing B4, I'm just a little bit worried. I feel the same way about it, that oh, he castles, he ends up castling, but it just looks like he is um, making his own king a lot more vulnerable than what he has caused with this attack. Mm -hmm. The white king is very safe after knight c1, there's, there's no way you can target that king, and the c6 pawn is constantly um, a weak spot, as well as the queen on h6 is a really annoying piece, I feel like. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah. It look it looks like white is probably a little bit better here. Yeah. He's going for a5, a4. I guess he's just as you said, he's really committed to that attack with the the pawns on the on the queen side. Mm -hmm. We don't normally see this. It's it's the type of attack with opposite side castling. In this case, both kings are on the queen side. The evaluation bar likes it, but I, I'm I'm really puzzled by the fact that the bar says it's about equal or maybe even black could be better here. Um, I wouldn't feel very confident here. Maybe it's something concrete. He plays rook g8 to threaten bishop g5. But now after queen takes h1, is there a follow-up? Ooh, he blundered knight takes e6. Uh, the bishop on e7 is hanging. Unless I'm blundering something. But I don't think there's a way to exploit this. Rook h8. Um, rook h8, queen g7? Or rook h8, you need to give up your queen for the rooks? Sorry. Um. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I think he okay. blundered. Knight takes e6, and after rook h8, I'm just wondering if. Yeah, uh... yeah, 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 yeah. This is um. Yeah, this is probably uh. Yeah, it's probably is is just winning for Alexander again, right? Um, Hello. I think so. Yeah. I don't see. I, I I was just trying to figure out if there's anything mm -hmm. that Levy can do if rook h8. I mean, if in worst case scenario, White can give up the. The queen for the two rooks after knight takes f8 or queen f5. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought here knight f8 was, was just winning. Knight f8, rook yeah, h7. Yeah, I thought that was hmm. her idea because now she had to give up the knight for oh, the yes, pawn. So she's got four pawns for the minor piece. Correct. And bishop g4 is probably strong now as well to put pressure on the knight on d7. Mm -hmm. Maybe queen c7? I mean, this should be very good. Knight e3 or knight b3. But all the knight moves look really, really good. Um, so I think... Uh, knight c5 and takes queen d6 maybe with the check. Very, very complicated. But I think Levy's in trouble here. Uh, uh, how does Levy have 15 seconds? No. Yeah, that's what I wish I was going to no. point out. That again, he's super low on time. So even if the position is about equal, according to the evaluation bar, he, he just does doesn't have enough time. Is there anything now here after queen takes f8? Uh, there should be some traps for queen, doesn't it? 97? 97, 97 queen to get f5. out. Yeah, yeah. Very, very tricky. Well, now she can just move queen back f5? on your file. Isn't knight f6, rookie 1? I mean, this looks very bad. Too many pawns. Just too many pawns here for white. Mm -hmm. Too many pawns. Yeah, this this pawn, is, uh, you just keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I don't think he can stop it. You'd have to give up the piece for the pawn. And Alexander wins yet another game. 3 to 1. Yeah, one second. I'm just adjusting my board. Sure. Um, that wasn't, that wasn't the best of games for Levy. It just, it went really strange out of the opening when he decided to go for b5 b4 and uh, even if the evaluation bar said it's about equal i think it was a lot more difficult to play that position from his perspective and he spent a lot of time he spent a lot correct. of time there. yeah yeah correct yeah so so what do we have this game we've got another london right Jay Parrot 11 mm -hmm. just subscribed 
Yes, uh, Levy's going for the London again, and uh, he's at least has a few seconds of time advantage here. I wonder if he can if he can keep the speed up because Alexander has been constantly playing, uh, consistently playing a lot faster, and that's something that Levy will need to deal with. So they've got an hour for the first portion of the game, mm -hmm. uh, first portion of the match, three plus one, and then they will have half an hour for the bullet games. Right, yeah. Like I said, I mean, I think Levy is definitely the underdog um, in the in the blitz portion. So he needs to um, he needs to see if he can get it, keep it as close as he can. I think Levy is down by more than four. He's in really. He's probably losing the match. If it's if it's three, I think he still has a chance. Two or less, I think he's the favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you that this is crucial, and the bullet will not be kind to to Levy unless he does well in the in mm -hmm. the blitz portion. Right. Right, I think, like I said, I think if it's if it's four, she if she's up by four going into the bullet, she's the favorite. I think mm -hmm. three, she's probably still a very slight favorite. I think if she's up two or less, uh, then Levy is a big favorite actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Knight to d7. So Alexandra is postponing castling. Do you think she will castle now, or is she up to something else? Um, well, the problem I think with castle and king size, maybe white can try to play h4, h5. I'm very skeptical as to whether it works. Okay, bishop d8 yeah. is a very class, this is a class move to try and put the bishop on c7 to trade this uh, really nice dark square bishop off the board. Mm -hmm. So, not not clear, not clear. So, she's waiting for levy to castle, and then castling king side for black would be a lot safer if there's no more h4, h5 attack. Right, but levy also by putting the pawns on h3 and g4, let's say castles bishop c7 if white trades, black can also castle queen side and try to attack because Very the king true. is a little bit so vulnerable on the king side. Yeah, let's see if it will happen. And let's see if Alexandra wants to play bishop c7 or capture the pawn on a5 because that's another option. She can just true. grab the pawn unless I'm missing something. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, this is um yeah, it's a little bit dangerous. Hmm. Also, just just to tell chat once again, to be clear, Alexandra is a GM. She is she is yeah. of course a women's grandmaster as well, but she does have the title of grandmaster. Her FIDE rating peak, I think, is about like twenty five seventy ish. Um. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, she she does have the title of grandmaster. Yeah, and she's the favorite in this match, um, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to the bullet portion. I think, as you said, um, Levy will need to score more in the blitz if he wants to save this match. But it's a tough challenge for him, and he knows it. Uh, I think Levy is fully aware that he's the underdog in this match, but that's what makes it a challenge for him. He wants mm -hmm. to do well against a really strong opponent. Oh, and apparently someone says her peak was 2637, so I was actually quite wrong. She was... Yeah, 26 stories her peak. And by comparison, Hu Yifan, who doesn't really play much uh, anymore, her peak rating was around like 2670 or 2680. Um, and Judah was, of course, 2720, I think, at her peak, or 2720 maybe, around there somewhere, somewhere mm -hmm. in that range. So, yeah, she, she's very, very strong. Yeah, and she, she beat Magnus in an infam infamous match where I think Magnus tried to take back a move also. <laughs> Yeah, she, she played many events, as you said. The, you, you also have played against her in some of the World Blitz um, mm -hmm. and other other yeah. speeches tournaments. She really loves speeches as well. So she's a, a Grandmaster, former Women's World Champion, and she's really good at speeches. It's not an easy challenge at right. all. Yeah, yeah. In short, yeah, she, she is really good. She is really good. I was actually thinking, like, if I played her in a match, like, like even this 3-1 th or something, I think probably... I think I would win like 75% of the games is my guess. Like 70, 75, which, which already like I think says a lot. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, so yeah, like Bishop G3 maybe or Bishop B4. Oh, she, she's very, very good, very, very dangerous. Um, and I remember the one time I played her over the board, I think in a Blitz game, was in Foxwoods in 2003, I think it was. And it was like there was this, it was this Constellian. And I think I got lucky at the end, but I was actually under a lot of pressure. Um, a lot of mm -hmm. pressure. I think she has been very successful against uh, the top of the top. So if she had a good position and good chances against you, she also had, mm -hmm. um, I think she has faced basically Seems everyone among, among the, the top chess players and has scored against some of the strongest chess players and former world champions. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so, so yeah, let's see. Maybe, um, Okay, Rook C one's a good move. I I mean Levy is in trouble here. He's he's down he's down material. Um 
And again, bishop c7 here to get rid of the dark square bishop because this not this dark square knight is much better than or this black knight is better mm -hmm. than the bishop on g2. Yeah. I think she'll go for bishop c7 at some point. I like knight e4 as well because again it's a similar situation that Levy shouldn't really give up the light squared bishop for mm -hmm. that knight, but then the knight is is really strong on e4. Right. So I don't like queen f6. I, I thought queen h6 was better to play for g4 to attack down the h file. But, mm -hmm. but anyway, Levy goes c5, bishop c7. A very tough position for Levy. And again, down on time as well. So very difficult yeah. position to hold. And he has no time. There's only a one second increment per move. Mm hmm. Yeah, this knight is just so good on e4. It's outposted. It's such a such a good bastion. I mean, just rookie seven. Yeah, this 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 knight is just so good, really, really good. Yeah, it's like it it is a perfect bastion. Maybe g four and queen g five is a move here. Um, queen c six. I don't. I guess she wants to move the knight back. Oh, knight c five. Knight c five. Knight c five was winning. Oh, she missed Ooh. knight c five. Yeah, that was a tactical here? motive. But this too looks really strong for her. Okay. Hmm. Knight C f no knight c5 doesn't work no it doesn't work maybe g4 even i think g4 is probably but, but levy again two seconds like this is just not gonna cut it and this she goes for g4 no there are no no pawns defending the white king only the bishop on g2 and the heavy pieces trying G5 to hold it together uh yeah it's looking bad wait but now she blundered oh, she wait, wait she, she blundered because now d5 is super weak why now she has she to go trade? 94, thought... yeah. Oh, okay. okay, turn of events. Now this rook game is actually nice for white. Uh, maybe uh, not anymore, it was. though. <laughs> maybe, that was, <laughs> it was. maybe that was not the right moment to push, unfortunately. Now F5 and F4. Ooh. F5, F4, just go all in. E3. Yeah, it's three connected, and white doesn't actually have two connected. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. like, like F3. Yeah, problem for Levy here is that he's not getting it two connected, so she just keeps her pawns connected. And she, her pawns are rolling for free. G5, and, and yeah, Levy's going to lose again. Yeah, three yeah. pass pawns for Alexandra, and the Levy's three pawns aren't really the same. The C and B pawns cannot march forward. He had a chance there, but I think he pushed D5 too early. But he, again, he had no time, so it's difficult difficult to come up with the best move when you have one second to decide. Yeah, uh, okay, look up six. G3. Wait. Oh, she, he hung it. Rook d6. Oh, Levy. Oh. oh, Levy. Oh, come on, dude. Uh, dude, come on. Just when I thought he, he was oh, getting back into Levy, the game. Come on. Oh, man. Alexander also made a few inaccurate moves in that Rookin game, um, but then Levy blundered at the very end. Well, this oh, is a tough one. Okay, but Levy's back to playing the Karo Khan finally. He's playing his Karo Khan. Again, <laughs> I don't like a6. Another bunky line. Bishop g4 is the main move. Um, mm -hmm. It's still okay, but again, I, I feel like this is another position Alexander's going to be happy with. She's got the center. Good development. Uh, she'll probably get the initiative pretty soon as well. So this is, um, this is uh, pretty good for her so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good start. Um, that previous game i'm just still uh puzzled by it levy almost escaped so mm -hmm. position wise he almost escaped but because he was so low on time he couldn't actually use the fact that alexander made a mistake too right exactly and i think this is the one thing i would say is levy's time management has not been very good and yeah. i think he's certainly nervous but at some point like you just have to make the practical decisions um quicker Anton Caridian just mm -hmm. exactly yeah he has to be more practical right Hopefully he manages to speed up. There's still quite some time left. They are playing mm -hmm. this first portion for an hour, so hopefully he'll manage There's to There's still 20, adjust. 23 minutes left, so plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, to be clear, you guys, when, when you are um when when you are uh, saying like you know you have to realize she is 2785. She has like 2800 of blitz. Like it's 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 not. I mean, she is 200 points higher rated than Levy, so she is a big favorite. Make no mistake. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. This this result actually four to one, I think, is quite normal when we consider mm -hmm. their their playing strength and also Alexandra's experience in speed chess. Ooh, knight a six is an ugly move because now the knight's on the wrong the knight's on the rim, so it's very grim. And now White's mm -hmm. just gonna get the free free jump to e five with the knight on f three here. 
at some point. Yes. Um, Maybe you're just if... taking the knight e5, because problem is you're going to have to waste a move to bring the knight back to contest against the knight on e5, either from c6 or from d7. So by going mm -hmm. to a6, when Levy could have very easily just put the knight in the center of the board, like on c6 or d7, it makes no sense. Yeah, that was very strange because c3 is such a natural response to knight a6, mm -hmm. not to allow knight b4. Right. And again, from c6-2, you're threatening to jump to b4, so that was no point placing it on a6. I'm yeah. puzzled. You fed your homeboy to the wolves by letting him yeah, play Alexandra, LOL. Subscribe. I didn't set this match up, you guys, <laughs> but, um, but yeah. No, it's, it's a tough match for Levy, but I think it's also a good thing because... Uh, he gets more experience, and I think Levy does want to win. Um, he does want to win the uh, win the I am not a GM event, so he gets experience. Also, mm -hmm. Alexander, someone said her feed rating is twenty four seventy four. That that's not true, is it? Is her ra her rating cannot be twenty four seventy four? I think she dropped some rating, but um, again, what? we we already have talked about her peak rating too. So I, I think it it just shows that she really is capable of playing a lot stronger. A lot stronger yeah, than that's. Her. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. I mean, her. Yeah, twenty four seventy four is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It's like that's just for yeah. her level. Yeah, absolutely. She she's just a very strong player, even stronger than mm -hmm. that rating. No, that's like that's like that's like when I when I when sometimes online I see like Ali Reza at like twenty nine. I've seen him at like twenty nine hundred or something, or like I see Daniel <laughs> at like twenty nine seventy. There's certain things that just don't look right, and yeah, like her her rating at twenty twenty her rating at twenty four seventy four. That's just that's just wrong. That's just completely wrong. Um, yeah, I think she had a few bad tournaments perhaps these last few years, and now there are no tournaments, so she can't even increase her rating right, because there's not really true. over the board mm -hmm. competition. Yeah. Where yeah. she can play, but certainly her her level is is above that twenty twenty five fifty. I think would be easily um, a normal mm -hmm. rating for her. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think twenty five fifty ish. I mean, at her at her peak, she was like twenty six twenty six uh, thirty. I think they said it was. Um, but yeah, yeah. twenty five fifty. I think is about right because that's that's where like when I think about the comparable players of the generation, like the Muzi Chuk sisters. Generally, they're in yeah. that same range twenty five fifty, twenty five mm -hmm. seventy five around there. Um, so yeah, I think it's it's certainly true. I agree. Yeah, that should be about her level, and and Levy is not quite there. Is his we see the online ratings, but it's not the same as classical chess rating. And online rating, yeah, Alexander is almost twenty eight hundred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is true. Majumdar just subscribed. Okay, How this... do we feel about this position and the time management? It's it's mm -hmm. at least somewhat faster for Levy. I think he's 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 trying to speed up for sure. Yeah, I uh, think in classical position... chess, classical chess, you're very happy as white in a blitz game. I think the knight is better than the bishop, so there's a lot of potential for tricks. So in classical, you're happy. In rapper blitz, I think it's it gets a little bit spicy here. Rook a one is though is a very nice move by her. Trapping the queen and now Levy has to go rook b eight. Only move here. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. The queen has nowhere to go, so rook bait is the only move. I wonder why is he thinking? Is there anything else he can consider, or he doesn't see rook b eight? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, rook b eight's the only levy. Come on, it's an only move. You can't waste thirty seconds on an only move. Okay, come on. Dude. Yeah, he played it. Yeah, maybe he was just double checking, but certainly he should not. Like there was nothing else he could have played, so he had mm -hmm. to go for it, even if it's bad. Right, exactly. Yeah. By the way, also you guys, this is a fun match. This is not part of the I am not a GM tournament because obviously, as the name implies, GMs cannot plan the event, and Alexander <laughs> is a grandmaster. So this is yeah. not this is not part of the event. Um, yeah. Too strong, too strong for the event. Yeah. But uh, the match, of course, has a lot at stake, including bragging rights mm -hmm. on Twitch. Levy has got to go. Oh, he's got to go. Okay, Rook C. It's a good move. I like it. I feel like his chances have improved. Um, again, as you said, the the knight is a tricky piece, um, mm -hmm. and this is a blitz game. Although Alexandra is very smart with her time management and constantly keeps. 30 seconds 40 seconds 50 seconds up on the clock i feel like that Ooh, that's, that's a terrible move by levy whoa 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 why didn't you i thought the whole point was to play rook a3 and then d5 when she yeah, gave the pawn yeah i thought pawn. that's what she wanted okay. yeah um i think alexander's facial expression just just said it yeah. all that she blundered and now c5 95 rook a2 i guess it's still not Clear cut, but I think Levy's gonna win because the knight is so good on d5. It's out. It's it's you know it's it's yeah. it's, it's just a bastion. And the he just needs to bring his it. king. I think he'll start marching towards a pass pawn of white. Mm -hmm. 
get the king to c6. Yeah, I mean, mind you, it's still probably a draw. Like, you can go g5 or h4, h5, and it should be a draw, but yeah. Three seconds left for Levy. Though. Levy, come on, Levy, <laughs> come on. Oh my god. It's only one second increment, so you can't three? read much time. Rook At least he was dead. Or that was G3? good. Yeah. Levy. Levy! Oh, the bar oh. says that now he could actually play for a win with rook the activation of the rook. Maybe? Nice. He's back in the game more than ever. This could be his chance again. Rook B3. <gasps> she blundered check. it. She blundered the Mate. Check. Mate. Mate. Wow. Wow. What a win. What a win. Crazy. That was a huge comeback by Levy. No time and not that easy of a position, and he won mm -hmm. the end game. Nicely done, Rook B H, Rook B1. Yeah. By the way, quick station break, but for everyone who was wondering, Tata still, as expected, every game that was remaining was drawn. So there were six draws, say, I believe, and there was one decisive game, which Niels Grandilius won. So another that day. That game was exciting, the decisive subscribe. game, at least, that one game. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, that's classical chess. Unfortunately, it's a it's a draw. Yeah, not easy. Um, on the other hand, we have this amazing match between chess queen and Gotham chess, in which we have a whopping zero draws. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Will there be any draws? What do you guys think? Will there be a single draw? Because at this rate, it's all decisive games. You are right. You're right, yeah, I, I think we might have gone. we might have won, but I think if we're gonna have a draw, it's probably gonna happen in the next two to three uh, of blitz games. I don't think it'll happen in the bullet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Warrior, yeah, quite subscribe. a contrast to to classical tournaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think. Um, yeah, I think he's. This is a much better. This is much more of a levy kind of game here that he's gotten this time. Again, he's playing all. I, I, you know, one thing that I would say is, I guess if Levy's not intending to play serious over the board chess again, I understand these openings, but it does concern me that he's he really is sort of internalizing playing these weird openings like this mm -hmm. a three b four against the Sicilian, and it does concern me if he ever comes back and he wants to play over the board that by doing too much of this, that um it, it will actually affect the mentality and the mindset. In terms of trying mm -hmm. to get the grandmaster title, for example. Yeah, you've got a point there that he really is just going for these sidelines, which mm -hmm. maybe on the short term is helping because he's surprising his opponents in these matches. Right. And in the I'm not a GM tournament too, he has been using mainly sidelines. Uh, but I agree with you that um, he still could have a shot at the grandmaster title if he goes back to classical competitions too. Correct, yeah. Yeah. And by the way, just for a chat who they're wondering, uh, I do play a lot of random openings online, but not in the serious competitions online. You will notice that I do play a lot of mainline openings when I'm playing like the Speed Chess Championship or the Bullet Championship. I don't play um, I don't play uh, at, at like random random stuff at all. It's very different, very very different. Yeah, absolutely huge difference. What you do uh, for fun on stream and also mm -hmm. the, for instance, the bone cloud speed run. That that's hilarious. But you wouldn't go for a bone cloud speed run at the champions tour. <laughs> well, I mean, way to uh, <laughs> wait, wait to sort of bait bait chat with that with that response. But I mean, <laughs> but the thing charity. is, well, no, I did it against Jeffrey Zhang, but I did it in a situation where there was nothing on the stage yeah. on the line. Like I couldn't exactly. improve my I standing. That's a one game. Couldn't finish mm -hmm. worse. So, but yes, normally I would never do that. In fact. I actually yeah. feel like I've, I've kind of stopped doing that in general. Um, like, I could have done that in some of the Speed Chess Championship matches, and I didn't. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, position is great for Alexandra. Great control of the center. As we know from the Russian School of Learning, when you get control of the center, generally speaking, it's a, you, you, you are much better here. And the Knight on D4 is also really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got a beautiful position here. Again, it's so difficult for Levy to... To mm -hmm. come up with the right plan, how to activate your pieces, what to play for. Bishop g5 is a natural move to develop and attack the rook, but then again, right. what's the follow up? Right, because now f4 and h6 will trap the juicer. Uh, and if you have to move the bishop back, that's a very sad state of affairs. Yeah, now knight e6 and rook d8 is, is coming. C3. Yeah, rook yeah d8. that weakens the d3 pawn, unfortunately. Chases the knight away, but the pawn will be weak forever. Yeah, this one's over. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark it up as a win for her. Not to, not to not to like make a curse. And she found e4 instantly too, which is just crushing. Oh, awesome yeah, move. both pawns are hanging. I don't think he has a way out of this. Uh, and it's not only that one pawn, possibly both will be falling mm -hmm. soon. D4. Yeah. She can just take twice. I think you just take with a knight. Where's the queen going? You have no squares yeah, for the queen. You're just getting fossilized next move. 
Knight f3 is the threat to win the queen. And if bishop d2, it still feels like there has to be a tactic come out. Maybe just double rooks on the d5. Yeah. Knight f3, GG. Yeah, everything yep. is hanging and Levy resigns. You marked it correctly, Hikaru, because yeah. that was... Mm -hmm. That was crushing. Yeah, like I said, I think Levy's still on the edge here. He has some chances, uh, but he needs to play. This game is important. If he loses this one or he loses the next two, I think he's in really bad shape in the bullet. Um, Levy does not look happy. I mean, it's tough. It's tough. He's playing someone who objectively is stronger than him. So it is It is a very tough match. Um, it is. But well, he knows it, it bullet, and he's he here to learn from it. Yeah. 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 You think he'll have a better chance in bullet? Because I was worried that yeah. it's even worse for bullet. That I think his chances are better in bullet. Um, but but man, it? this is another. Un the thing that I would say, and this is the sort of this is much higher level. This is something that like you'll see at the grandmaster level or even the super grandmaster level. Is stylistically, you have to be capable of mixing it up, especially when it's not going your way. And Levy consistently is getting into these open middle game positions where Alexander has like very obvious sort of attacking ideas, playing in the center. And mm -hmm. um and it very much plays to her style much more than it does to his, um, so it's this is pretty rough, pretty rough, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you that even if it's about equal, the type of position that's that's the problem. Alexandra will be enjoying this type of position. She's really mm -hmm. good at these kind of positions. Goes for h four to to mm -hmm. scare Levy a little bit. Yeah, I just feel like the way that she's playing, it's very aggressive. It's not. It's it's actually a style that I feel like. It's very sort of in your face. Like your opponent yeah. really goes after you. They're very aggressive, and um, and when when they can play that style and they they don't just sort of like you know make sacrifice, but they also combine it with very good positional understanding. It's really unpleasant to play against at certain times. Yeah, just I just would like to th thank Chess.com for the huge raid. We are hosting a match here. It's Hikaru and I hosting the Gotham Chess versus Chess Queen Clash. It's Alexandra Costa, new former Women's World Champion, facing our very own Levy Roseman. Levy being the underdog, but he's trying his best. We are hosting this match as mm -hmm. uh, 3 plus 1 for an hour. So Blitz first for the first hour and then Bullet for half an hour. Thank you so much everyone for coming over from the tata still chess tournament broadcast we hope you had a yeah. good time watching a bunch of resident sleeper chess <laughs> six draws yay um in this match there have been no draws so big news here so far every game have have been decided every single game has been decided mm -hmm. yeah so this is actually getting very exciting here the center is opening up levy should go queen d6 very good move the question is, is knight d4 a good move or not? Because if knight d4, queen d5 to line up the checkmate, why well, can interpose with bishop e4? Okay, bishop Heart b1, just tricky subscribed. move. Going for the queen bishop battery to threaten checkmate on h7. Maybe queen possibly. d3 or queen c2. Uh-huh. Yeah, both are options. So after rook f to e8, I guess mm -hmm. Levy simply wants to drop the knight back to f8 if queen d3 or queen c2 to go. You also have knight f6 square. here. You also have knight f6, I guess, which is also a, a, a move. Le More Levy natural. is better here. <laughs> Levy, is better. <laughs> Levy is better because the pawn on d5 is blockaded. Um, and this is similar to the like the, the ter semi terrorish opening mm -hmm. um, where white generally gets a big center with pawns on e4 and d4. But if you can blockade the pawn and there's the one loose pawn here in the center, then, um, then black's doing very well. And I think he's actually... He should, technically speaking, be winning here if he plays this correctly. I think so, because now three pieces of his are attacking the d5 pawn. Will Alexander try to guard it by playing bishop e4? It just feels... It feels like it's, it's all wrong. She's going for a counterattack in the back rank. But the problem I is now she... we're going to see the xqc checkmate with a rook d5, rook e8, knight f8, and then there's a rook d1 at the end because the queen covers h2. Hmm. XUC had a checkmate like that. Oh, Levy's got to be careful. Don't allow Queen E. I guess it's not quite working, but you got to be very careful here. Yeah, still not working because there's Queen of Fate at the end of the line, but it's a scary position. So Levy doing well, but there are still tricks and traps in this position, mm -hmm. and Alexandra has more time. So again, this could go wrong, unfortunately. He has to be very careful. Right. He is doing well, though. He is doing well. He's just got to not see the boogeyman and take with the bishop of the rook on D5. Just subscribed. You think he will go for it? Will he take the pawn? Yeah, he does so. Okay. Uh, thank you to Luna Sekmas for the raid with 21,293 people. Is that... Uh... Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, whoa, holy mackerel. 
Wow, uh, it's, it's a day of raids. Uh, we are hosting a serious chess match here. Well, serious, um, as serious as it can be for Levy Gotham Chess and former Women's World Champion Chess Queen Alexandra Kostenyuk. Um, welcome everybody to join us for that, this. Oh, uh, never mind. Was that fake? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Oh, ca can you even get fake raids? Or was that a, a comment in the chat? I mean, it's a lot of people. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah. Apparently, Forsen got it too, and he didn't recognize it. So hey, it all—it's it, all good. Um, okay. <laughs> how, how do you even do a fake raid? Like, is that so? It yeah. comes up as a normal notification. I didn't know there's such a thing. Yeah, ah, it's all good. It's all good. No, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all good. Um, oh, maybe Bishop Levy, Levy, Levy's got to go Bishop D5 and close this diagonal for the White Bishop. Bishop D5 is—it's imperative that he does it here. Ten um, seconds though, Levy's again. Yeah, 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 There's rookie seven, rookie seven, ninety six. Oh, oh my gosh, there's ninety six also, and bishop e six and rook f seven. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, Levy's in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, time one second. It's he was about to flag. He played the move with zero point eight seconds. But now there's g four. G four. And the knight, and then there's some kind of, there's something that's winning. G, okay, she takes. Bishop b3. He's got no time. Oh, man, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, oh. no. That was okay. a, such a good position for Levy, but there was still a few tricks, and he couldn't deal with it. I think no Levy time. almost has to win here. If he's down by five going into the bullet, I think he's in really bad shape. I don't think he's coming mm -hmm. back from down by five. I think four, we're still on the edge so where it's possible, subscribe. but down by five, yeah. It's a rough start for Levy. He has had his chances in the games, but he, mm -hmm. again, time pressure, having almost no time to make that crucial, decisive moment uh, somewhat yeah. simpler. Uh, yeah, if knight needs to four is queen g5, I mean, it's, yeah, it's getting ugly. Um... But that being said, uh, as I recall from this line, I think bishop d6, d4, bishop d7 is the main line. e4 is not generally considered to be the best move at the moment on move 7. So it's a little bit off the beaten path, which I guess is why the computer says that white is so much better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I feel like Alexander's getting really comfortable positions. Um so far it feels like levy hasn't chosen oh, too this well. is so ugly oh no what did levy do because now the knight's coming to d3 oh no and there's c5 and you've got this really bad backwards pawn on d2 and your bishop is dead here on c1 yeah. i think c5 just c5 here and take this take this there's this huge square there's a huge bastion sitting here on d3 mm -hmm. oh man this is so maybe levy should sack the sack and just get this huge uh pawn clump in the center he does it, okay. And he does it, yeah. If this take, could be his best practical with? chance. Maybe the E pawn, I feel like that would be nicer. Yeah, pro that's probably he better because, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to square of pawns in the center. That would be really too much. But actually, so after knight d3, what do pawns. you do? Okay, I don't like knight g6 because now white keeps a bishop on the board. Black is an extra, extra bishop here. So I would have mm -hmm. tried to trade it, trade off the knight for the bishops. Now after like d3, you got scope. You can maybe push the pawns, create a diamond in the center even if you get the pawns to d3, d5, and c4. Um, just a classic diamond. Also <laughs> queen b3 is good too. Yeah, I feel like this was a really good practical decision. The evaluation bar still shows advantage for black, but this is not easy for Alexandra to play. So finally mm -hmm. a position where it's Alexandra who has to be more precise. Correct, yeah. Yeah, I like this position for Levy. Also because black can't castle the king. The queen covers the diagonal. Yeah. True, very true. Rook b1 to put pressure on the pawn. Then he could play d3, get the bishop out. There's nothing concrete going on, uh, but it's a lot more difficult for mm -hmm. black to finish development because yeah. of the cost. Levy also, yeah. he, needs, he, needs to, he needs to get the positive positivity flowing. I think one thing that I would say yeah. is, especially in the speed chess championship, well, not speed chess championship, but all, all these online events, like that are in the match format you really need to kind of get positivity and focus you like you have to dial it back like after a bad loss you just need to take a deep breath but you need to be positive 
Um, and Levy's body language also is another problem, uh, as he looks very negative, uh, which is not going to help his help his play. Yeah, do you think he's already tilted from the results? Uh, maybe a little bit. We need a pep talk. Yeah, I hope Levy's chat is there for him with the copy pastas. I I don't know if mm -hmm. he's he's looking at the chat. I, I don't think he has much time to. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, again, big shout out to the nearly 40, I think we've got 42,000 people who are um, who are watching across the channel, so big shout out to everybody. Wow. I don't know if Alexander's streaming in English or in Russian, I would assume Russian, um, but big shout out to everybody who's who's watching. Um, this is, uh, you know, what I was going to start to say, my point about the thing is that if you're really going next level in these match forms, and Magnus and I do this very well, is... Um, is you actually you do out of the corner of your eye pay attention to like what your opponent is doing like they're they're visible they the visual like look they have on their face the body language uh we do actually pay really really close attention to that yeah very true and uh let me thank uh mr call me kevin for another raid it, it really has been the day of raids kevin thank you so much for the raid we are broadcasting hikaru and i are broadcasting a match between gotham chess levy mm -hmm. roseman and chess queen she's a former women's world champion so it's a serious clash between the two um, Levy not doing well, he has to make a comeback, and this is speed chess, so everything is happening super fast, even those of you who don't play chess, I think you will, you can pay attention to the facial expressions and the time ticking down. Uh, Hikaru's facial expression too, <laughs> try, to, try to read, Hikaru, what are you I thinking thought there here? Was, I, thought there was knight, I thought there was knight a 4, c4, and the knight d3, which looked really, really good, because then you never get the pawns rolling mm -hmm. in the center. Um, because now can't you take a d4, c4, and try to run the pawn up, maybe? Maybe? Not sure, but maybe you can try to do that. Yeah, and Levy's down to 37 seconds. So it's his final, final 37 he's go. seconds. You got, yeah, he's got to uh, go. This is going to be the last game, by the way, of the of the portion. We're the about to run out of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they will have a short break, and the rest of the match is bullet. That is mm -hmm. one minute games. Only Bishop one A3, minute Bishop for A3, each. Bishop A3, Bishop A3, Levy. Bishop A3, come on. Yes. And he has found it. He's found it. He's got 26 seconds left, but he at least found the best move. He's winning here. He is winning here, by the way, to be clear. You have rook c1. But will he manage? Do you right. think he will convert it? Just takes, 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 take. and d6. Come on, Levy. Just trade it all down and go d6. Come on. Yes. Very good. Mind you, it still, it still might be tricky here. I think maybe she should take with the rook there. But anyway, she takes with the bishop. Just take. Levy, you got to go instantly. Good d6. Yes. Faster, faster. Rook B8 <gasps> is game over. Rook B8. Yep. 15 seconds left, though. 13, 12, 11. On, Make a good. move. Okay. King E8, maybe? I mean, this is winning, but it's still... Okay, D7s. Probably Rook B1, Rook B7. Seconds. Rook B1, yeah, Rook B7. I think B7. if you just okay, double Rook D1. Yeah, but now King E8, D7, King E7. And it remains very tricky here. Don't push d7. Just don't push d7. You can kind of wait. You can just bring the king in. Jess, Jacob, you can Jess kind of just... Subscribe. No! Oh, he does play it, and he's only got three seconds no, left. Three me... seconds. Oh, he's going to lose. He's gonna... oh. He lost on time. He lost on time. He flagged from a winning position to losing on time. But d7 already was a mistake. Oh, my. F in the chat, everyone, whether you play chess or not. time? <laughs> <laughs> he ran out of time yes he did yeah okay. i mean <laughs> i mean 60 minutes <laughs> um it's over right the first yeah yeah, yeah it's over, yes, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. yeah yes yeah okay one second yeah. i'm just gonna get water yeah, yeah i'll take a break yeah take your time have a break so it's a break right and we'll we're yeah. back and, yeah, yeah feel free to take a quick break good good see you soon see you soon alexandra Oh my, that was that was a hard break. Levy was so close to winning this final game. He has a winning position, but he had only 12 seconds on the clock, and then he made his next move. Eight seconds left. Take a look at that clock next to next to Gotham Chess. Eight seconds, and then three seconds. There's a one second increment. So every time he makes moves, he gets some more time. But that's 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 insane. No time, and eventually he lost on time. D7 wasn't the best move. This is unfortunately a meltdown levy losing a game that he should have won and now the match 
seven to two, seven points for Alexander, two for Levy, and I'm left alone. How's everybody doing? And how was GTA? Let me know how was GTA. I know, I know that you guys were playing again with the chaos mods. I love the chaos mods in GTA. It makes GTA is already hilarious and really entertaining when Kevin plays it, but with the chaos mods and you guys controlling the gameplay, it's even better. And I know that Kevin is planning to play more of those games where you can be in charge. So that will be really cool to see when you take over constantly in future streams as well. Let me know what was your favorite moment of today's stream on Kevin's channel. And thank you again, Kevin, for the rate. Thank you everyone for joining us. I know that during the match, I'm not able to talk to you guys that much, but I really appreciate it. And today I'm going to be playing on my brand new Switch because I am not a gamer. I don't know if I'm saying this, by the way, on all four channels. I'm talking to my, my audience now, but if, if it's also on every other channel, I am not a gamer, but I have bought my first ever Switch. And today, after the match, we're going to be playing Rhythm Games. I have downloaded and, well, I guess I bought and downloaded then a couple of games for the Switch that are Rhythm Games. Oh, my camera's going blurry. Okay. Hello. Welcome yeah, back. I'm back. Thank you. Uh, I'm muted. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Hopefully, uh, I'm providing some good heart attacks for the audience uh, with my with my patented less than three seconds of uh, time on the clock. Subscribe. I don't know what it is with like being addicted to bullet. And uh, then that's what I'm afraid of because <laughs> it's it's going to be very. Fun. I mean, it, it's 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 already quite funny, but for with one minute, it's going to be. Hilarious. Let me try to. Okay, one second. I'll change. Oh, yeah. this. Thirty minutes, right? I'm just gonna set the timer for myself. Okay. Man with all glove donated three dollars. I'm Hikaru in shot. Like it's chest. such a tense moment. I'm afraid to go. I'm, 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 I'm having a. <laughs> it, it's gonna be far more tense. I don't know. It feels like more fun than 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 tense because it's not like. I don't know. It's not like in a formal competition. It's like, you know, so you go to the gym and you spar someone who's like going to kick your ass. So I'm having a good time. <laughs> like I'm, yeah. <laughs> the chess is not the most fun part, but I'm having. Uh... No, we better forget about chess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're providing a lot of entertainment. and we That's have... for sure. That's uh, you can <laughs> count on me. <laughs> Yeah, Hikaru that's... has been comparing it to Tata Steel, that you guys make no draws. Tata Steel Ooh, is almost all draws. No, no, no. So draws are prohibited. No, no. <laughs> 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 you make a draw, you're disqualified. <laughs> a, 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 a couple of games ago, I was worried there was going to be a draw. And then, yes, and then, uh, I mean, I should have. I should have. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yeah. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, uh, good so. luck and see you in half an hour. Good luck. So, good luck. Good luck. just a guys. second. I will. I will. Um, switch off i mean i will change <laughs> all the cables so the spectators can hear you and i don't i won't okay so see you soon <laughs> see you soon good luck yeah, thank you and we are back at it again so there's going to be an additional half an hour segment now at bullet chess bullet chess meaning one minute per player per game so it's absolutely one of the fastest time controls um hikar what would you say about bullet chess what do you need to do to be good at it uh i think a lot of it is intuition pattern recognition playing for tactics um all right and we're off okay um, and I, I think I think mainly having an opening setup where you can get to like move 10 or move 20 right away. Now, the one danger that I will say, and a lot of people have done this, is that one zero, one minute, no no increment is much different than, than one minute plus one second, one second increment. Um, for example, like Ali Reza, who is very, very good at 1-0 in the Speed Chess Championship in the one, one plus one portion, he, he lost his match against uh, Big Fish or Vladimir Fedosev. For this reason, there were a lot of games that got down to the very end where he would have won them on time if it was one plus zero. But because there was a one second increment, he um, he struggled and lost that match. And I think that's really, really important to keep that in mind that it is much different than one one plus zero. So very true really that at least know, there's this one subscribe. second increment. So it's not mm -hmm. just about flagging the opponent. Um, if there was no increment, you could literally have a queen down and still have a chance to win because right. you can flag the opponent. You can win on time. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. So it's going to be close. I think Levy is the favorite here. Can he close the five-point gap? I think it's pretty unlikely. Pretty unlikely. But it could happen. It could happen, definitely. 
at least he's fast. This is the fastest I've seen Levy today. I feel mm -hmm. like um, he definitely switched his mindset to bullet, and right. uh, he's trying to do his best. Wrong thing. rook, wrong. Whoa, what is this? I thought Ooh, rook fe was better, but this is probably this is bishop c five maybe. This piece sacrifice could be very appealing mm -hmm. if Alexander was gonna take it. So she decides to keep the king safe and not go for the capture. Levy's doing well. He's doing very well. That was a nice tactical motive to sacrifice the bishop, and now he's got the initiative. He's attacking already on the king side with mm -hmm. the minor pieces. Um, can he do anything to keep going? He comes back to f6. Yeah, it felt like there was no follow up on f4. Um, but now, trade only is one. There rookie eight? Again, black, white is better, or black is better, but white has the two bishops, which are kind of important here. I think in long mm -hmm. term, because even though black is an extra pawn, the two bishops have much more scope on the diagonals. So I, I love it's better, but it's going to be tricky to convert. Yes, um, the pair of bishops, the fact that Alexandra has more space, and it's a tricky mm -hmm. position. Um, 18 seconds left for Levy. Let's hope that he's not going to lose on time. Nah, he won't lose on time. But whether he can win this, I'm skeptical because it's just very hard when white has two bishops and white can try to attack the queenside pawns very easily. Like bishop a7 maybe? I thought bishop a7, bishop b8 was maybe a better try. But again, black is better, but we'll see. We'll see what Levy can do. Knight e4 is tricky because Alexander is trying to connect the pawns and make it confusing for Levy. Now you can't move away because d6 is hanging. Oh, oh, I think he, he's gonna lose here because knight c5 and bishop b8. Knight c5. I mean, oh, no, he's no, still he's, passive. I mean, too he's hanging passive. on. He's hanging on by a thread, but it's gonna be very hard to win this. I it don't think he's. I don't so... think he's even better anymore, honestly. Yeah, I, the tendency is certainly not good. So many pieces on the back rank being really passive. His knight is getting oh. trapped, isn't it? King d2. Whoa, oh, 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 dear. B4, What's B4. What's King doing C3. on A1? He's trapping his own knight in the corner. No. Although she's not actually going after the knight the way she... Because Levy can still create past pawns over here. True, B4. she's B4, trying to stop it. the knight. Oof. H, okay. Okay, now the knight is gone and But now there's, there's Bishop no F7 and yet. Bishop E5. Bishop E5. Oh, and the C pawn is winning the game. Just bishop h5 or... Uh. Oh, bishop d5 too, yeah. Okay, she's going to give up the bishops and her pawn will promote. So she can sacrifice her bishops for the pawns or one or two of them. And this one is a new queen once it arrives on c8. It was a good chance for Levy, oh, but uh, the end game, king h8. What, what, what was going on? Well, there? I, th was... I think I think Levy got low on time and he panicked and he just played the first move that came to his mind. But again, I think that was bad, that was bad instincts and pressure. Because if yeah. you're under pressure in an endgame, you should just go to f8 instead of h8. If, you, if you're under pressure, you just go close to the center in, in the endgame. Um, but yes, mm -hmm. I mean, people are saying I'm being biased. I'm not. Alexandra is the better player. Let's be very clear on that. I've said that throughout the uh, throughout the sequence. Yeah. It's not like yeah. she's getting lucky or something like that. Um, of course, yeah, we have already said this, and those yeah. of you who are just joining us and you are not aware, Alexandra is a former women's world champion. She used mm -hmm. to be uh, one of the strongest, well, used to be, she is still one of the strongest, but I wanted to say right. that her rating was, I think, was that, again, I forgot her peak rating, but it was crazy high, her peak rating. She was a world champion for two years. She's an Olympic gold medalist with the team of Russia, mm -hmm. uh, and she's a grandmaster. She's She's got the yeah. overall grandmaster title. Levy is an international master, so it's not the same level. Levy is the underdog here. Right, agreed, agreed. Yeah, I mean, she's... I mean, she she beat Magnus in a Blitz game for sure. Apparently, she beat Anon yeah. in another game. I mean, I, I think I was lucky because I've only played her like twice. But I th one of the games <laughs> I played against her in Blitz also was really, really scrappy, a, a big, big mess on the board. So, um, yeah, she's she's competed in a lot of the World Blitz Championships. Very, very strong player. Um, I, I The odd thing is, I think, like me, though, she hasn't actually ever won the World Rapid or World Blitz because they hold it at the same time. I know she's come close, I think, but I don't think she's ever actually won it either. Um, yeah. I, but very I remember strong. her finishing on the podium but not winning it, which mm -hmm. I agree with you. It's very strange because she's really good at speeches, and I'm being taught her peak rating was 25, 40, no, 2561. Yeah. Um, it's a very strong chess player. Um, and Levy is the underdog, as everyone knows it, including the players. <laughs> right, exactly. 
at the same time, Levy's position, I kind of like here. More space mm -hmm. and seems to be more comfortable to play. Gustav's under Bishop E6. Maybe a fourth move? Good. And he but see, this is, what, like th it. this is what Levy wasn't doing earlier. Like, F4, it's a good move. Play it fast, play it practical. Of course, Queen G3 doesn't really... Isn't... Mm -hmm. Right. But anyway. Um, but the point is, now he's playing more on Philly. He's playing the intuition the way that he should be. Maybe f5 here, rook g7, queen f3, maybe? I don't know if it's good, but it's a move. I um, like f5, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that's no. not but that's it's, not it's, what it's we too needed. It's too late, though. It's, too, it's one move too late. He needed to do this before he yeah. took. Uh. Unfortunately, with the pawn gun and the queen trade, this endgame is just good for black uh, material up. And, uh, and now the juicers pawn. are running. The juice is loose. Yeah. Although King up one, he has some hope actually. There's still some outside hope, like a five, a five, a six. What takes an a six? But a seven, rook a six stops the pawn. <laughs> Did he miss it? What's he doing? Come on, Levy. Oh, okay. That was that was a very unfortunate blunder, as we can see on Levy's facial expression. Oh, rough. Um, those of you asking how is it possible that Levy is the underdog when he's higher rated, this is just their bullet rating on chess.com, so it's not the classical rating. We were talking about classical mm -hmm. chess ratings. So in bullet chess and online chess, you have different ratings, but overall in classical chess, Alexandra has been um, much stronger than Levy, yeah. and she wins this game. Yeah, I mean, she's going to win the match now. I, th I don't think there's enough time remaining. Um, but I would also, this is what I was going to say, you guys, again, this is one plus one. There is an increment. This is not one plus zero. There, there is, I mean, it's very weird when you think about it, but there's a huge difference, um, when you add in the increment versus no increment, because basically the flag concept, it sort of doesn't really apply in the same way anymore. So you have to, you have to actually play pretty high quality on, um, on, on over the board. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And now this is a huge difference. Seven point lead for mm -hmm. Alexandra, um, and I think she's in a great shape. It, she did have some games in the Blitz portion where where she wasn't doing well. Maybe she she right. got lucky in some of those games, as one could say. But she was constantly fighting, having more time on the clock. So that that mm -hmm. is, I think, something that she did really well today too. That she yeah. kept putting pressure on Levy in terms of time management, and that's how mm -hmm. Levy cracked in winning yeah. positions too. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the fair value was probably she. She won what seventy two, so she was plus five. I think it should have been probably been like plus three instead of plus five. Like if Levy had managed his time better, the score should have been something Super, like um like six tried. three or something, or you know five yeah. two versus what it turned into seven two. So, I, but nonetheless, she was clearly better regardless, and um and she's uh she's also like playing really really well in this bullet portion. Like G four, just go for the kill. Again, very intuitive, very straightforward. Um. This is just really, really brutal. Oh, man. HG4, H5. Oh, man. H5. Oh, man. And she goes for it. Brutal attack on the king side. Ooh. This is pretty harsh. Man. Yeah. I don't think that Levy can get out of this. Yeah, this is yikes. And also, look at the time. She's up. She has forty nine seconds. Levy has four seconds. Like Levy just got to move fast. He's just like, oh. yeah. And now it's a rook up for Alexandra. So Levy resigns. Ten to two. Ooh. This is rough. So you know, I'm gonna give you guys a little story. Uh, it's it's a little bit of story time. Sometimes you play against somebody who's just too good. Okay, this does happen from time to time. Um, uh, you play against someone who's just too good. And I, I basically there were there was a period when I was much younger when I was like 12, 13, 14, I'd play a lot online. Um, I was trying to improve. And I was probably a little bit better than Levy, maybe like 24, 24, 50, but in the same level. And um and when when like when this would happen, I would run into some grandmaster online who was just much better than me. Um and, and you know, I would lose a match like this where it would just be like, you know, some some score that was really unpleasant, like 8, 2, 10, 2, whatever it is. And um what I would do is um first of all, I would take my mouse. And I would, I would take it, I would throw it against the wall. So in my room after after the match, I would take the mouse, I would put take my hand, I would throw it against the wall. That's the first thing I would do. Um, so obviously, like, I was very upset. So, so the first thing is, you know, let get have the rage, let it all out. And then after that is, like, I literally would go and spend, like, the next, like, four to five hours looking at the openings, trying to figure out what I did wrong. 
uh, because it was just that infuriating. And I think it's really, really important to um, to sort of, you know, when, when, when you play against someone who's just much better, it's like not accept it and figure out what you have to do to improve. Yeah. So part of the process of getting better is uh, throwing the, the mess or or is that the skippable part i mean Hikaru? maybe a part of it i think the, the be more important part is that you have to be you kind of have to be you're uh, upset you have to be a bit psychotic you have to really just be like really angry and not accept not accept like a bad result so you, you have to have, be a little bit there has to be a little bit like mental ing there's to be something mentally a little bit off let's put it that way <laughs> I agree with you that the games we lose, or in this case, a match that Levy is about to lose. Oh no, there's 94. There's 94 and F5 now. Oh, she better, misses it. Uh... She missed it. Okay, now at Levy go F5 and attack. Okay, Queen G4. Yeah, is a F5 move. was a really attractive move. I think he can still yeah. go for it. Oh no, no longer he can go for it. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. unfortunately, he missed his moment to push F5. Wait, what was Queen H3? Wait, what just happened? Was it? Couldn't he have taken F5? I guess he could have, but anyway, he gets to take it anyway here. Um, yeah. This is great for Levy. Levy's doing well here. Maybe rook e1, or bishop e1 now. Hard to play, I though, because like the that. bishop and the yeah. knight, though. The bishop and the knight are really good for black. And she's going to go knight of 5, knight e3. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no, now there's rook e3. Maneuver. Oh! Uh, still queen g4, knight of 5. <sighs> it's getting... It's like... Okay. I think she missed a chance with rook e6 and rook g6. She missed a big opportunity. And she just blundered her knight. Okay, Levy's going to get a win here. He's going to get the dub. He's going to get a dub here. Levy's going to get the and dub. And that's so important psychologically too because he, he has been on a losing he streak and he needs to stop the bleeding. So this this is important for the match overall to make a comeback, feel right. a bit better, mm -hmm. and maybe then have a chance or two in the next yeah. games. Right. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. He avoids the adoption. This is also important. But yeah, this has been mm -hmm. a really, really tough match for Levy. Really, really tough match. Yeah. Thank you, Jasaba, for the five gifted. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, Levy. Levy. He's 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 doing okay. He's just uh, it's just he's playing someone who's unfortunately I think just a little bit too strong in this in this situation. Um, and I mean it happens. Yeah, but as you said, he he wants to improve. This is a training match for him for the mm -hmm. I'm not a GM event. Um, as you guys were pointing out, Alexandra is not part of the event. Uh, this is a training match, um, basically yeah. for you guys. It's for it's for the chess community here on Twitch that they organize this match. And I think there will be more. I would love to mm -hmm. see more events like this. That just a a casual match, but at the same time, of course, they are super competitive and they are doing their very best. Right. Yeah. No. This is. Um. Yeah. It's just. It's. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, she's a very strong player. I mean, objectively, she has a lot more experience than Levy as well. Um, she's someone who's been playing tournaments from a very, very young age, uh, just traveling all over the world as well. So uh, it's it's kind of to be expected. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, good practice for Levy. And hopefully this this previous win gives him some boost. But the position I, I don't just getting really smoked like. in the center again. Like, you know, th this is kind of... This is how you, get, you really can tell. Like... So a lot of people probably don't notice it because I find a way to win games anyway um, when I play Blitz. But the quality of the moves in the opening when you play bad openings really shows the class of the player. Like like the way Alexandra has played against Levy's really dubious opening with like A5 and H5 is just like playing very thematically, very classically in the center and just attacking. It's all very, very thematic. Um, although she did yeah. blunder here somehow. What did she do? Yeah, F6 after the trade Oh, she allowed everything to come off and then... F6? F6 winning a and piece. And FG5 and Bishop F5 should be winning. Yeah. So she ended up blundering even though she was doing the right thing. Like, the, the pawn push mm -hmm. was correct, but then she miscalculated. Right. Bishop F5 is a good move here. Just hold hold everything and then go Rook C6 and hit the, rook, hit the pawn on C2. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's also a good move, but there is Rook A5 now. But now just c3, maybe rook d8, double double it, go for go for the mate, do the do, do the bro stack. No, that's not quite right. Because now she has three pawns and she has safe pawns too. If you look at the pawn structure, the pawns are all very safe. A5, mm -hmm. b4, True. just start running them. Yeah, I think Alexander's back in the game because yeah. it's again so easy to play. Push um just push and push and try not to lose. King the rest oh of your no, Levy's gonna King. lose here. Levy's gonna lose. The king's coming in yep. now. Oh, no. Getting to b4, a6, and he's down to two seconds. 
Oh. Take the juicer. Okay, now he's winning again because now you take and run the pawn. Take f3, g5, h4, h3, h2. Okay. Maybe rook h2. But it's no now rook h6 and oh no no. Uh oh. No, no, no. Rook f6 is winning. Ooh, oh, rook, rook f6, f6 was winning, missed but... to pick up the bishop. Three seconds left for Levy, and this is not the right tendency. She could just take on h4, guard c4 pawn. Yeah, yeah, which is winning. <sighs> oh well, um, Levy had his chances, but again, C6. being so low on time. Yeah, he... Levy's time. Levy's time usage has not been has not been um. Has not been ideal, shall we say. Yeah, he's going to lose yeah. again. B8. Wow. Brutal. Wow. Brutal. Oh, well, that's 11 to 3 in Alexander's favor. And there's still mm -hmm. some more time left. How much time do we have from, for this bullet portion left? Because uh, I don't have a time. Uh, 12 minutes, 37 seconds. seconds is what I have. So it could be off by about mm -hmm. 5 seconds, give or take. But yeah. And yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like she's she's just a stronger player. That's just the reality. Um, yeah. But for for Levy, he will... I mean, I think that um, that he has played some... He has played some good games in this match. So he just needs to... Um, he needs to make sure to... to 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 play like this or even you know at, uh, like learn from this and play at this level or better when he plays in the i am not a gm event mm -hmm. i think knight d5 is winning by the way because of bishop g4 but whatever Let's was it? Oh, I, I don't know but i but like <laughs> so, so, so like this is a difference so it's so like i'll give you a perfect example this position after queen c8 i know we're gonna, on my board we're, we're not going to see the next couple of moves this is a position where if i was playing against like fedo Seyev, we're playing in a very serious speed touch championship match in one zero i probably have to make a move in four seconds in one plus one you can use 15 to 20 seconds because if 95 works then it's just winning so that's mm -hmm. kind of the, the point that's really important it's like in in, in one oh you have to do that instantly in one plus one you can think rook takes h5 is winning now rook yeah. takes h5 rook h5 love you Rook, H5. Rook H5 and checkmate incoming. Good. And he's going for it. <laughs> yep. Wait. Oh, Queen C2 is the right follow-up? I thought he had it's, it's actually It actually is. Yeah, yeah. Queen, Queen H7 coming. Oh, because Queen H5, Knight D3 was still... Well, no. Queen H5, there was Queen F5, I think, which, uh, okay. which covered the pawn and it held H7. No, you're perfectly right about that. I missed that Queen F5 is a very mm -hmm. strong defensive move. So he spotted it, Queen C2. He's okay. ready to play Knight Queen F6. H7. Knight, Knight F6. F6. Yep. And then checkmate in two or winning the queen. Nicely Very done nice. by Levy. At least this game. Alexander is just yeah. smiling about it because it was a beautiful yeah. tactical pattern and mm -hmm. she appreciates that too, even if it's um her defeat in this game, but I'm sure that she, she liked the pattern. Yeah, it was a nice it was a nice checkmating pattern, yeah. It was very good. Four points for Levy, eleven for Alexandra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is um. Yeah, I mean, Levy's 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 doing rel relatively well in the bullet portion. I would say overall, it's just unfortunately mm -hmm. in the uh, in the blitz. Yeah, she's just much stronger. Yeah, and I thought it was gonna be the other way around. I didn't realize mm -hmm. that that the blitz was even more dangerous. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No, I thought I thought I thought um I thought he would win in bullet, but again, one plus one, I wasn't sure how big a, the margin would be, but. Again, she's she's held even in, in bullet and blitz. She was just much much more uh, much more. She was far superior. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it's um, it's tough, tough, tough match. But again, Levy just has to kind of use this as motivation to uh, to improve. And also, what I would say in regards to Levy is like to give an example. Um, like people are obviously there are going to be people who are making fun of Levy, but he should keep in mind that, you, you know, what he really needs to do is use that sort of the negative energy or what people are saying sort of as sort of the fuel or the fire to um, to uh, to to get better and play better in the I am not a GM event. I agree with you. This is a great training match for him for the event. So it's this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing for him yeah. to like. He he will feel bad about how he played, and he will he will want to do better. That's exactly the motivation he needs. But overall, mm -hmm. he will come out Knight as, of four. as yeah. someone who learned. Um, mm -hmm. After f three, by the way, I thought there was queen g three check, but now it's of course a completely different position. There probably was, um, yeah. But Levy's doing well, playing very thematically, double the rooks and attack. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, no, what, what I would also say though, is like when people say, yeah, they, they don't make fun of Levy. I actually did a lot of that when I was younger. Like a, lo a lot of people sort of would like, you know, if you don't have a good result or you, you do things a certain way, a lot of people are very negative. And actually for yeah. me, that was one of the biggest things that really helped me was that uh, I, I actually could use all that hate, all yeah, that, all that negativity subscribe. and just use it to basically um, uh, fuel myself to, to perform better and, and really use that as a motivation. It's great that you can do that because it happens so many times during the Champions ooh, Tour too. Ooh, it's ooh, just, ooh. Oh, all right. I mean, Lev is back in this game for sure. Now capturing all win, those pieces, yeah. it's an extra rook. Yeah. Oh. Five points for Levy. He has mm -hmm. just won the last two games. So, so I, I think what it's people even, are right? Saying, um, in bullet, yes. I think is so. It, or, or is he still down by one? Oh, He's, actually. Because it was 7-2, right? Sure. Or was it? Uh, oh yeah, it was seven two. Yes, they finished the blitz portion with seven to two. Okay, so he's still down by one. Okay, so he needs to win this to get get back to even in the bullet, right? I think yeah. bullet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I was just gonna say about the champions tour that the type of comments when when one of the top grandmasters wouldn't do well, whether it's, um, I'm I mean I don't even know what, on whom they were picking in the last mm -hmm. two events. It's just it doesn't matter if someone is not performing as as they used to, including Magnus Cost. And if Magnus is not winning a tournament, then people are like, oh he's uh, not the same anymore. Oh should he retire? Or should he like, <laughs> you know like, one bad tournament or one bad day? And then all those type of comments is like, seriously you're watching some of the top chess grandmasters in the world and you think that because mm -hmm. they have a bad day or a bad event it means that they are they have no longer a future that they, their career is over right exactly That's just... yeah agreed yeah it's pretty funny <laughs> Anyway, uh, Knight H5, Knight H5. Oh, Levy, Levy is actually coming back to life. And by the way, you guys, we're we're not like we're not we're not like doing favoritism here. Um, I've we've given Alexandra a lot of credit. She's been the much better player throughout, and yeah. um, that's just the She's reality. She's been doing so well. Yeah. Um. Well, Levy has one again. I need to add more points to yeah. to that side of the board. Yeah, the betters Six are points. molding now. The betters are molding because everyone thought that it was over and um, and she was going <laughs> to win the one plus one, and now now all the betters are really unhappy. <laughs> yeah and there's still time there's still time bullet chess is so fast that there could be still a couple of games left in these last few minutes of the match yeah exactly yeah levy's got another great position by the way and this is an example why is he playing his main repertoire now this deep in the match he should have been playing this earlier like this is everything mm -hmm. he's done in this game has been really really thematic on point e5 good move maybe knight e5 um knight e5 yeah, why is he thinking? Oh, he was just Bishop G. Oh, there's F4. Thinking of which knight. Oh, there's F4 here. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. Um. Maybe knight okay, that's C4. That's unpleasant. He can only go to C4. Yeah. Bishop D3. Maybe though you have Bishop D3. Ah, Bishop C5 is also move because takes takes rookie seven. You have Queen D5. It's a move. So rookie eight, of course, got a move. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I think Levy's doing well this game. I think Levy might actually win this game. He's gonna he get the nice winning streak. The, yeah. This is finally looking great for him. At least uh, he mm -hmm. he's the one who now can do better psychologically too. It's a lot easier when you're on a winning streak, and then everything seems to be easier when it comes to making good moves. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, he's playing very well. This game, the flow is there. The flow is mm -hmm. there. He's definitely got the flow going. Like takes, takes, and just take on g6. Even something like takes, trade the queen, and knight d3 also looks good. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's, yeah. Yeah, takes and just queen g6 and knight d3. Pop the knight on d3. Maybe just b5 first and knight d3. Yep, very good. Knight d3. Uh, you got a good bash in there, and the pawn supports the knight. Just knight d3, of course. That was a he weird move. Trades first and then knight d3 and knight d3 immediately was gonna feel like the best move. Even like this, of course, he's doing well. Rook f8, perhaps. Mm -hmm. He's down to nine seconds though, so he has to he's hurry. He's gotta up. go. He's gotta go. What? Well, there's rook f2. That can be. Oh, taken. then you have queen b1. Then rook. F okay. Yeah, rook f2 is probably a draw. Okay, she goes king h2. Mm -hmm. I'm more levy. Time, 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 levy. Time. 
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, did seven? she just blunder? Rookie it... seven and checkmate and knight h5 too. Uh, that's too much. Too much going on knight h5. She plays h5. I thought knight h5 was yeah, winning. Yeah, knight h5 was winning. Wait, queen h6? Yeah, she can just... Uh, yeah, Wonder it's Levy who can take it. B4, B4 uh, and C3, B4 and C3. Oh, well, he goes rook f7. seconds left for Levy, but at least he hasn't B4, gotten checkmated. B4, 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 B4. No, okay. Well, still a game. Rook c7 and a5, maybe. Okay, h7, good move, by the way. Good move, because black has yep. outside pawns here to roll down the board. Mm -hmm. This might be a draw. A knight b2. Oh, I like knight b2 a lot. Then but he knight plays a3. it. Can't be taken because of a3. King g6, king f5. This is going to be a draw, by the way. <laughs> Speaking of draws. <laughs> Well, or this will be it? the first and maybe only draw. They have yeah. only played decisive games so okay, far. Okay, now king e4 and this will be a draw, yeah. Yeah. Yep. The first and maybe only draw of the match. Wow. Yeah, I think it will be. How much time is left of the match, Hikaru? I've got 240. So probably this is the last game. There might be one more that, that can occur. Mm -hmm. Oh, that half a point makes the scoreboard look a lot worse. Uh, there's not that much space now for the numbers. Yeah. But it's, it's one draw. It's all right. Only mm -hmm. one draw. Every other game has been decisive. They're playing really competitive fighting chess here for the entertainment of you guys. We hope you enjoy the match. This, this has been fun to host and... Hopefully fun for the players too, even though Levy has has gone through hell at some right. stage. Yeah, of the this match. has been really rough, yeah. Yeah. I think Levy's got a great position here though. Just castles like classic Vienna opening. Really, really good position. See, again, mm -hmm. I don't know why Levy didn't do this earlier. Why is he doing this now? He should have done this at the start. Yeah, it feels like he kept the best for less, but now the match is gonna be over in a few yeah. minutes. Knight h5. Knight h5 or even knight e6 and queen g4. Oh, knight e6 and queen g4 might be winning too. I really want knight h5, knight f6, but I think knight e6. Okay, still good though. Mm -hmm. What's the follow up? Can he. Wait, can he. Oh. I was thinking of the sacrifice. Couldn't he. Couldn't he take on h7 and queen h5? Was it. Was it working? Well, I don't know any longer, but he's shaking his head now after Gosling. I, no, because I mean, I mean, Levy's down a pawn here, so he's got to attack. He's just down one pawn. It's not, I mean, he's just down a pawn, so he needs to attack. Yeah. That was a very strange decision to cost. So even if, yeah. I don't know if the rook sacrifice was good or not, but that certainly was the direction to go. Keep that h5 for the rook. He's got to move, though. He's just got to move. Whoa. Okay. Knight h5, but now if you trade on e3. Is this going to work? Takes queen h6, knight g6, yeah. rook f6. Very, very sharp still. It should be winning mm -hmm. for black somehow. Like rook f6. Rook f6. Only move. Rook f6. Just do it. Good. No king h8 because then you take the knight and then you take the rook because black can't take back with the. Oh, she blunders takes. <laughs> no! Oh. Let me blunder the back. He didn't, he didn't take. Oh! Oh, it was a mouse slip, apparently. Lev is costing, I'm being told. Uh, uh, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense because uh, the position didn't require a castle. All right. A um, couple of missed yep, chances. Yep, this is the end of the match, now... too. The clock is done. Oh, Levy. Mate in eight, deviation bar is saying for black. He's got a, last, a couple of last few checks, um, but... It's game over. Two rooks down and the bishop is gone. What a match oh, this man. has been. Rough. 12 and a half for Alexandra. Six and a half for Levy. And that's the end of the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alexandra wins. Pulls nice box. I mean, I tried to not to <laughs> make it once, once again. <laughs> it's actually, it, it's funny. So chess.com has a feature. If you touch the king and then you touch the rook, it castles automatically. Oh, so I meant to move my maybe rook. Maybe you had a pre-move set or no? No, like I touched my king and then I was like, I don't want to move my king. So I touched my rook 
and boom. Ah, <laughs> it's okay. like, it I, wasn't... Uh, yes, I thought, well, <laughs> I mean, okay. I was <laughs> like... Not? Uh, that was uh that, that makes more sense now because we didn't understand why you called uh, and then your facial expression of yeah it. i mean it, it wouldn't have helped the uh the match situation but uh that was fun that was fun it was a lot of a lot of interesting stuff i think in the blitz i think for for me in personally the, yeah no no in, in in the blitz i think the positions were interesting bullet was just chaos i learned not to play the peers defense against you you're gonna checkmate every single time um h4 i was like okay i'm getting made at every position um, no actually i i lost this pawn twice i think or something and i i, I kept asking myself why didn't why. why did i move this pawn to h4 to lose it all, <laughs> once again I, 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 all over again but that was nice yeah uh, many many nice checkmating patterns in the bullet section with knight h5 i enjoyed it the, did not expect it but probably it's very very um, Mm -hmm. Known for those who play. Oh, oh yeah, with no, the I... queen on h6, bishop on d3, and then knight <laughs> h5. Somehow, I... and then I, I enjoyed my queen to g4 move so much because I thought, well, there is, <laughs> you don't threaten anything. So, but okay. No, that was uh, that was fun. I felt yes. uh, I, I don't play chess, which really matters anymore. So I, I thought, wh why not set this up? I figure I'm the, I'm the underdog, but. Uh... Yeah, three three plus one is a fascinating format to me. I completely don't understand it. I just like I I'm so, so used next to time, just... next time next next time you 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 need to say sixty minutes one plus one and then thirty minutes. <laughs> I, three plus no, one. I I wanted to offer no increment, but I, I felt like it's it's too no garbage increment. of a format. It's uh it's too you know. No uh, increment. Yes, I need to work a lot. <laughs> no increment. Th then, I'm not that good. At, I mean, I, at I, all. I felt it was it was it was but, silly. But, well, uh, commentators, your impressions. Uh, how yeah, you I actually <laughs> I actually had a general question, which is because because Levy, you don't play. I mean, well, not just you, but nobody plays one plus one, um, like in a serious way, <laughs> except for these matches. So, like for you, how did you feel playing one plus one? Because it's much different than one plus zero, obviously. Uh, I think, uh, for for me, it it feels the most like something that I'm at least used to. Hmm. I don't know, like three one and five one feels like classical chess <laughs> i'm sitting there like uh, deep in thought i'm like what am i doing i just spent one third of my time like so mm -hmm. i feel like in bullet i can force myself to at least move True. um we but, felt uh, like that was a that was one of the the, the biggest uh trouble or difficulty you had to overcome the time management especially in the blitz Here, portion that you kept going low on time and alexandra even in in bad positions managed to to keep being fast so at least she had that pocket of time to use against you. And uh, it. I feel like, do you think that in hindsight, um, not that it, of course, it's easier said than done, but do you think you should have been a bit more practical and not consider those blitz games, as you said, classical, that you have time to spend. There wasn't much time to spend in the end. Yeah, you should have seen me, uh, what I was saying to myself. I was like, dude, I was going full Hikaru. Just move, dude, just move. I'm sitting like <laughs> saying, just move, but I'm not moving. I'm saying it, but I'm not. So many times, yeah, even the very last game, um, I was like, uh, I'm like, oh, I feel good. You know, I'm playing creative chess, very interesting position. Yeah, like, checkmate do... is coming. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, why do I have three seconds? And then I just flagged. I was like, okay, I mean, <laughs> But it, it, you know, it is what it is. Let's put it this way. I'll be more upset if I lose to the winner of Sagar Shah and Eric Rosen this way. This will be, I'll be much more upset. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, happy for the match. We can also have uh, a rematch like sometime down the line. Just want to play strong players and uh, give them subs when they beat me. Ah, nice. <laughs> oh, how many so, gifted subs is Alexandra oh, getting we, for we, this training? Yeah, match. we had a deal. Yeah, I, I, Alexandra basically just named her price. She was like, you know, because she <laughs> it was a favorite, so uh, twenty five gifted subs. Nice. So if anybody was going to donate to me, if I won, you can donate it to Alexandra's channel. So, uh, but yeah, this was great. this was fun. It was great. Thank you so much. I enjoyed I enjoyed the match. I enjoyed being checkmated. <laughs> <laughs> and not being checkmated and uh, i'm sure uh the spectators enjoyed listening to your wonderful comments i mean you're really doing an amazing job for chess it's something unbelievable that's what's going on i mean nowadays it's uh, a dream come true I, I think so thank you so much guys for for this uh, wonderful opportunity wow no problem and I'm, gl I'm glad that you enjoyed it, alexandra and uh 
hopefully hopefully we'll see more of you in various events or just playing on online as well and also also streaming so it was it was really it was really great to watch uh watch you play great chess i think it's been i mean for me obviously i'm i'm very familiar with your chess uh since we've both been playing so long but i think for like a lot of the audience that was watching they're not they're not so familiar with a lot of the stars of chess over the past 10 20 years and i think for all of them they had an opportunity to see how strong a player you are and of course a former former women's world champion so it was, it was great for everybody Absolutely. Make sure everyone to check out Chess Queen here on Twitch. Absolutely. She streams in English and Russian, depending on the day when you tune in. You can either learn a new language or you can join her English language stream. Now, I'm sure that there are many Russian fans out here too. I don't know how you manage with the, the two languages. I was considering doing English and Spanish streams sometimes, but I just, I feel like even with English, I can barely keep up. So I don't know how you do it. Well done. But I'm used to because, I mean, with my daughter, she keeps um, answering to me in English. And I say to her in Russian, talk to her in Russian. So it's I'm very used to at least um, listen to English. Mm. Uh, but uh, OK, in Russian, it's always m more comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I, uh, I have relatives who have uh, daughters and they the mom only speaks with them in Russian and the dad only speaks with them in English for like the first few years. And then it's just I mean, they're in San Francisco, so it's, it's just all English. But uh, oh. Well, that was yes. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I'm going to uh, rest. I have to give a chess lesson to a, a, a very strong poker player later. Uh, so, if you guys are streaming, mm -hmm. have a good rest of your streams. Yeah, uh, yes. and we'll we'll talk soon. And when I'm done, I, I will I will gift the bounty, Alexandra. So, <laughs> great, yeah. bye everyone. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, so everyone. Much you you. This bye. was a really entertaining. Bye. Match. bye. Take care. Bye. bye. I'll Congratulations. Be back bye. Soon. Congratulations.